Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this blurry background animation in After Effects. It is very easy to create and you can use it for text, logos or products, whatever you want. All this using only After Effects. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now first we are going to add some shapes. So in order to do that, let's go to the shape tool and if you click and hold, you can select the ellipse tool. Now I'm going to draw a circle. So you can hold down the shift key to create a perfect circle, something like this. And on this one, we are going to apply an effect called Gaussian Blur. So let's search for Gaussian Blur and let's drag it onto this. And I'm going to increase the blurriness to something like 200. And just make sure that this option repeat X pixel is unchecked so that the blur is spread out evenly. Now you can see we have this sort of shape and I'm going to quickly apply another effect onto this. So let me just quickly search it. So now we are going to search for mesh distort. So let's drag it onto this. And after that, I'm going to change the number of rows and columns. I'm going to set this to two by two something like this now i can easily select any of these points and i can just simply move to distort this shape so i'm going to just randomly create a shape something like this now it's completely up to you you can do it however you want just make sure to select the mesh warp and after that you can click any of these edge points and then you can start moving this just like that so now you can see we have this shape now we can probably select this press ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm going to move it somewhere around here and let's select the mesh warp and i'm going to reset it let's again set this to two by two now we can play around with this one and let's select this and i'm going to move it something like this again it's completely up to you you can do whatever you want let's select this one and press ctrl d and let's move it somewhere around here on this one i'm going to increase the blurriness little bit and let's again select this and i'm going to reset this let's set this to two by two and let's play around with this and i'm going to move it somewhere around here again this is completely up to you you can use whatever shapes and you can just place them however you want so once you're done with this we are ready to add some background so right click new and let's add a solid and you can pick whatever color you want after that, we are going to search for an effect called four color gradient. So just search for it and let's drag it onto this. Now let's place this solid below all of these shape layers. Now let's change the colors. So I'm going to select this one and we are going to make this to a light gray, something like this. And let's select the green one and I'm going to make this little bit darker somewhere around here. Let's select this one and I'm going to make this darker as well. And I'm going to make this one lighter as well. So we have this sort of look and now we are ready to add some colors to this. So in order to do that, you can right click and let's add an adjustment layer. And on top of this, we are going to apply an effect called Colorama. So just search for it and let's apply it onto the adjustment layer. Right away, you can see we are able to get some colors and also we have to change the mode. So we are going to change this from normal to overlay something like this if you're not able to see the modes option then you can click over here just like that now we can change its color by going under the output cycles and from here you can see we have a bunch of different presets so you can pick whatever you want for example i'm going to select the red ramp and right away you can see we have this really amazing look and in the same way you can select a bunch of these and i really like this old glory and one of this is the sunset so these are all the colors which you can use if you want you can just play around with the colors and you can create your own so once you're done with this we are ready to animate this so in order to do that let's select the shape layer and i'm going to add a keyframe for the mesh distort and let's press u to reveal the keyframe and i'm going to move to somewhere at the very end and let's distort this and i'm going to just randomly move it here and there so that it will add some animation to our shape just like this let's select the bottom one and let's add a mesh distort and let's go to the very end and i'm going to do the same thing with this one as well let's make this go up 
and let's select the last one and let's move to the very beginning and i'm going to add the mesh distort and at the end let's move this to somewhere around here again this is completely random you can just play around with these values to get different results now let's go back to the beginning and if i play back here you can see we have this very subtle animation if you want you can select the keyframes and you can easy ease them but it's completely up to you so once you're done with this we are ready to add some greens to this so in order to do that you can just right click and let's create an adjustment layer and on this one let's apply add greens so just drag it onto this and we are going to change this from preview to final output and also if you want to increase the intensity you can just simply set this to something like two now you can see we have this very amazing grainy background so this really enhances the look of your scene and at last you can add whatever you want you can add some logos text whatever you want let me just quickly add a text so i'm going to type red and i'm using this lust font let's select this align this to the center and i'm going to just scale this up and there you go now you can see we have this really amazing text and the background so you can use this background for any kind of purpose just like that again if you want to change the colors then just simply go under the colorama and you can pick whatever presets you want you can have blue green whatever you want and just play around with these so this is how you can create these kind of blurry background animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one